We're joined now by Ann Mantini Salima of Wellspring Niagara. And Wellspring, just like most charities, rely a lot on volunteers to keep their programs running. And with your programs being delivered in person again since April, do you have enough volunteers to keep things going at the level that you need to? Well, a very good question. Um, actually, we are uh, we do need volunteers. I mean, I think what, what the pandemic has brought on a lot of our, our volunteers that were with us for you know twenty years, um, kind of um, decided not that now volunteering wasn't for them as they got older, and it was just now a different time for them. Um, so we have lost many of our wonderful volunteers that were with us for all those years. So we are looking for volunteers. Uh, we're accepting applications. We're going through some uh, interviews now, uh, but we're looking for volunteers in different capacities, uh, but primarily in the center and helping out. And um, we provide a, a very good training um, for, for our volunteers. So we wanna make it uh, them feel comfortable in doing, you know, and doing their job with us, so. What yeah. kind of jobs do you ask them to do in the center? Well, in the center, we're looking for front desk volunteers and peer support volunteers. So our front desk volunteers and peer support volunteers go through the same training because they're our, they're our first point of contact for uh, someone who comes to Wellspring or calls the center. So, uh, so the same training in terms of learning, listening, in terms of providing support, um, how to help them navigate through the programs. Um, so providing that level of comfort, should there be a difficult conversation, all those things, so that that, that, that level of comfort so uh, to be a front desk volunteer, you don't need to have a cancer experience in your life, um, uh, but um, it's just someone who would like to volunteer and who's comfortable with using the phone, with uh, registering people, maybe doing using the computer if that's needed. And a peer volunteer would be someone who's had cancer experience in their lives. So someone who is was a caregiver um, to someone living with cancer or is a cancer survivor and has been through the journey. So we're, we're looking to fill some gaps there as well. It's so important to have those kinds of people available. That's right. We're also looking for event volunteers. Uh, we're assembling committees to help us with some of our events that we're doing. So those that like to be a little more social, um, we're trying to build our pool of volunteers to do that. So we have a lot of our, many volunteers have come back um, and they're going through kind of a new refresher training because it's been two years that they've been in the center. Uh, and those that have been providing peer support over the phone, it's a whole different feel now that they're coming back into the center. Um, it's just, it's, so we're just really, really providing that, uh, those tools and, and um, comfort for them through the training. Let's move on to a different topic, 50-50 yeah. draws. These are happening yeah. every month still. That's right, yes. It's happening every month this year. June is uh, in the midst of it now. We're halfway through. Um, it usually builds up towards the last, uh, the, the, the last week of the 50-50, but uh, the money that we do raise um, from the 50-50 goes right into our programs, and it helps provide programs to, to people coming to the center or doing our online programs. So wellspringniagara5050.ca is where you can get your tickets, and uh, we've... Um, We've raised uh, over twenty thousand dollars since the start of it, and so twenty thousand dollars we've we've gifted, and twenty thousand dollars has come back to us. So not a bad idea to maybe do a last minute for June for Father's Day this weekend. I agree. I think the chances are very high because it's so it's so uh, there's a good chance to win. So um, yeah, so please uh, help support if anyone is listening and you want to support it. It's a great way to support Wellspring and and to give back. And then, really quickly, Starry Night Gala is back yeah. on this November. We're doing our Starry Night Gala. It's at White Oaks Resort and Spa. Um, and we're looking forward to bringing it back. It's been since 2020. So we're excited um, uh, to have our sponsors back and to have our patrons back and to be back at this wonderful facility of White Oaks. So they're wonderful there.